Cup of tea? Check. Nintendo Switch? Check. It has to be time for another video. Hey everyone, hope you're all well. This is Mark at Digital Age Gaming. Today, I'm going to be looking at Claybook on Switch, which I believe is released today. Anyway, shout outs to Second Order, who kindly sent me over a review code. Um, anyway, let's get straight into Claybook. So this is Claybook on Switch. Let's have a look at the front end. So you've got Play Game. Editor, yes it does have a built in level editor, creator, stats, settings, help and credits, let's have a look at settings, uh, it does have cross platform sharing, I believe it's with PC, maybe with Xbox as well, obviously not Playstation, um, show cross platform content, obviously, um, audio is your standard fare, controls, invert the cameras, sensitivity, video, uh, motion blur I turned that off okay this isn't my absolute first look I did play about half an hour um, uh, last week sometime um, so in-game FPS counter Ooh, always very nice to have always very nice to have and editor control camera speed blah 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 okay so you may have seen Claybook in a Nintendo Direct um, a few months ago. It's basically an action puzzle type game. Um, you take on the role of various shapes made of clay, circles, balls, uh, eclipses, squares, etc., ducks, rockets, and you solve puzzles. So, have a look. Let's have a look at the. Um, so there's your creator, community creations, playbooks. So you have these books, and each book has around four chapters. Um, two, three. So you've got five books, four chapters each. So it's about 20 levels. Excuse me. Um, in the woods, these are the tutorial levels. So if we try this one. Oh, take a sip of my hot cup of tea. <sighs> okay. So it tells you in the uh, top left tutorial, follow the objectives. Now, the camera is a bit, you can adjust it. I haven't gone in and adjusted it, um, it but it can be a bit sensitive. So you got up, down, left and right. With the right analog stick, left analog stick moves your object made out of clay. Forward, backward, left, right. And as you can see, it actually looks really good. I like the 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 aesthetics. It actually looks very close to clay. Um, and as you roll around on different surfaces, different coloured surfaces, the clay picks up those colours. Um, so the arrow's pointing up here. So I'm guessing. Well, I do know. You go. Let me change into a circle with the D-pad up. Changes to a circle. Go through here. Try to cross the pit. Um. Okay. So with zl you can rewind and what it will do is leave a stamp of your object there so if i press zr uh, zl there you go you can rewind to wherever you were before but it will leave a copy there and which can be helpful sometimes getting up on ledges and climbing up steps and such forth um so d-pad down as you can see at the bottom in the middle changes me to an eclipse let's try and climb up here using this see that even tells me put a okay let's see if I can use that to leverage myself up maybe there we go uh, possess the cube possess means obviously take control <laughs> um, so let me leave oh I can do it there press Y so now we're controlling this massive cube okay so we got to go down here like I say the aesthetics graphically it, it's a pleasing game it looks pretty good as I said, thank you to Second Order, who kindly sent over a review copy. Now, obviously, you know, like a lot of YouTubers, just because they sent a review copy does not mean it automatically gets a recommendation or, you know, I only tell you about the, if it has any good good aspects or, and such forth. Um, what have I got to do? Remove the fluid from the yellow tank. Right, so here I'm guessing with ZR, watch, let me go over here so I don't mess anything up you can sink in you can kind of melt into the ground so let me rewind come out of there 
So I'm guessing then, if I go, oh, no. <sighs> okay. Empty the fluid. Let's create a little channel using ZR. There we go. So the fluid's down to 90. Okay, let that empty. In the background, you can see, um, I forget his name now from Toy Story. Um, he actually follows you around with his eyes. Quite unnerving, really. And he has a joystick as well that when you move left, he moves it left and moves right, he moves it right. Um, okay, so... Okay, so I've done that, yes? No? Well, it says four of four, so I'm guessing... Come on. I like the way... I, I like the colours changing on the cube as you move over different surfaces. Oh, let's empty some here. It's going to take forever. There we go. Four, three, two, one, and it's done. There we go. 100%. Three minutes, 48.308 seconds. Minus 39 seconds. Ooh, not bad. Um, so it gives you a rank on the leaderboards there. So continue. And it's pretty much that as you go forward. Um, let's have a look at the editor. Um, so we come out editor now it's not all brilliantness and fanta fantastic gameplay um okay so once you get into the editor things well no but let's talk about the editor at the moment okay so with the right stick it moves this crosshair up down left and right and to move the camera around you use the right uh, left analog stick up down left right although moving this crosshair all the way over will rotate the camera which i guess is fairly useful as you can see look i'm moving left he moves that left forward backward his eyes actually follow you which is can be very creepy um camera up and camera down now hmm, um i don't like <sighs> the camera controls in the editor feel a bit off also, there's no tutorial, which is pretty weird. Now, if you're intelligent, unlike me, you'll probably be able to work this editor out fairly quickly. Um, so if I go to where are... So pressing Y brings up gameplay presets. So Rad Racer, Rocket Racer, Water Management, Sandbox of Chocolate, Stampede and Tricky Puzzle. So if we go to Rocket Racer... Okay, look. Yeah, awesome. Although, see, this is what, I don't know. Um, so you can place objects. Press X, you can place objects. So if I place, say, a rocket. Yay, look, we got a rocket. Although I don't know how to actually... Um, oh, that zooms in. Oh, that places it on the ground. Although, how do I... See, look. As you're editing the object, I can't actually move the camera. Which is fairly weird. Um, Place it there. Now I can move the camera again. So toggle simulation is the minus key. Which actually does nothing. Awesome. Um, And this is what I mean. This should, should have been... A tutorial for the editor like I say I'm thick um, if, if you know most people probably worked it out fairly quickly um, but as you, you know you can place objects and start points end points um, where people actually earn points sections and stuff like that let's have a look at a creation that people actually made so it's exit here yes I want to exit I do have a few problems with this game. Game, tool, I guess it's a game. So community creations. My tea's getting cold. So, yeah, you press it once, you have to press it twice. Community creations. So let's have a look at water. Okay, so we've got five pages here that people have created. Um, those same five pages. I guess the game comes out today. 
when this video goes live i believe yeah it's 12th so i guess the only people creating levels are the developers and whoever got the game a little bit early but let's have a look at water water actually talking of water my yes i would like to download water thank you my cup of tea ah lovely wet yes my cup of tea is nice and wet thank you okay so hey i'm controlling the rocket which actually doesn't really fill me with joy because <laughs> yeah look this is how you, uh, it looks really good it looks really cut hang on i've got to rewind because that is just the cat the controls are a little bit <sighs> actually they haven't put an objective i'm guessing i have to well I don't, whoa it's all over the place i mean this in itself could be fun for 10 minutes you know um a clay rocket flying around it's not easy to fly oh, hit the ceiling well bomb you know let's rewind that make out that didn't happen i might be able to edit that out actually <laughs> oh no i'm not even gonna try um how about a rubber duck now yeah, look a rubber duck it's uh um a magnet we have a magnet as well i don't know it, he hasn't even whoever made this level hasn't even put the objective of the level but there you go and you've got your fps counter in the top left which i don't know if it's the game itself i'm thinking it's not but on switch <clears throat> maybe not the best idea to put an fps counter in like a sandboxy type game especially in the level editor because there are a lot of people that are fixated on frames per second and such forth and seeing that dip into the 20s quite often could be disheartening i mean it's, it seems to try and manage that 30 fps pretty well but i'm guessing the more objects you put down and such forth it's gonna it's gonna hit that frame per second count but anyway yeah i i, I have no idea what the idea of this one is um so i'm just going to try a different one you can enter sandbox mode which is where i'll go into that level and basically i'll be able to change it edit it and such forth so let's exit that one see if i can actually find one that actually has um sipes adventure the poo poo bananas oh mate it sounds so awesome i've got to try it where's my cup of tea so we got the and poo poo and banana oh my lord okay so so let's have a look at poo poo i've got to try poo poo <sighs> yeah we've got to try poo poo brilliant okay reach all the waypoints okay well there's a lot of waypoints here my man a lot um well i've got to actually get on top of it. oh that's annoying um can i take control of any other objects um no really i can't control any others like this the camera's not too bad like i say you can go into settings and adjust the camera sensitivity really i cannot change any into any other object so how am i supposed to i guess no see that one's off the ground so i can't even look dissolve that's annoying but you get the idea so there's a lot of waypoints on here the quicker you do it the better um you'll be higher up on the leaderboards i can see if, you know maybe a lot of people spending a lot of time in the editor um this is a game i'm not going to be caning every day i'll come back to it every now and then and maybe play a level or two and try and complete the single player but in terms of i have to be honest now that i've played it and again thank you for the review code but i'm glad that i managed to try it because i i'm really glad i didn't actually pay for this because i love the idea of the engine they've created within unreal engine that clay looks really good um the controls need a bit of refinement but i don't think this was the the type of 
game to create a sandboxy type game i think a platformer make you know with clay um levels and clay um characters and that where you can build your own might have been a better idea um if you've got any ideas let me know w what else could they have made that um would have been a fantastic game that you know looking like it's made out of clay you would have liked per like i say personally i don't think this was the best idea um and i hope the devs you know uh, i hope they take on board i'm not i'm not saying the game is crap it's it's not i would never say a game is crap because those developers have put their blood sweat and tears into making whatever game they've made but like i say i just think a different genre would have been better you may like this type of game and if you do buy all you know buy the game um i think it's uh about 16 dollars um which is about 12 13 uk pounds um but yeah you know i've given you kind of a quick look which is what you know these videos are a quick look slash first impressions um of what the game is it's like i say it's not something i'm going to be playing a lot of um i don't even oh near me okay um where did you change that then brilliant uh how'd you change the field oh friends everyone um so yeah it's like i say it's not something that i'm going to be playing a lot of like i say every now and then i'll come back to it but apart from that um i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it, you got <laughs> like you've even got achievements um not many but you at least they put achievements in um so yeah it's a sandboxy arcade uh type game it's out today uh tuesday the 12th of march um i will put like a thing at the bottom that comes up every now and then telling you the price release date and such forth but yeah hope you enjoyed the video i've got another one maybe two videos coming out fairly soon for a couple of other games very different to um clay book so yeah um let me know what you think of the game if you got if you're going to get it if you're not going to get it why um in the comments and yeah hope to see you on the next one take care everyone keep gaming stay safe bye